there is a natural awakening process in which first we proceed full speed ahead, participating in the world, believing in it, seeking to contribute to the ascent of humanity. Eventually, we encounter something that is undeniably wrong, perhaps a flagrant injustice, a serious health problem, or a tragedy near at hand. Our first response is to think that this is an isolated problem, remediable with some effort, within a system that is basically sound. But when we try to fix it, we discover deeper and deeper levels of wrongness. The rot spreads. We see that no injustice, no horror, can stand in isolation. We see that the disappeared dissidents in South America, the child laborers in Pakistan, the clear-cut forests of the Amazon are all intimately linked together in a grotesque tapestry that includes every aspect of modern life. We realize that the problems are too big to fix. We are called to live in an entirely different way, starting with our most fundamental values and priorities. All of us go through this process repeatedly in various realms of our lives. All parts of the process are right and necessary. The phase of full participation is a growth phase in which we develop gifts that will be applied very differently later. The phase of trying to fix, to endure, to soldier on with a life that isn't working is a maturation phase that develops qualities of patience and determination and strength. The phase of discovering the all-encompassing nature of the problem is usually a phase of despair, but it need not be. Properly, it is a phase of rest, of stillness, of withdrawal, of preparation for a push. The push is a birth push. Crises in our lives converge and propel us into a new life, a new being that we hardly imagined could exist except that we'd heard rumors of it, echoes, and maybe even caught a glimpse of it here and there. Granted through grace, a brief preview. If you are in the midst of this process, you need not suffer if you cooperate with it. Trust your own urge to withdraw, even when a million messages are telling you, the world is fine, what's wrong with you, get with the program. Trust your innate belief that you are here on Earth for something magnificent, even when a thousand disappointments have told you that you are ordinary. Trust your idealism, buried in your eternal child's heart, that says that a far more beautiful world than this is possible. Do not label your noble refusal to participate as laziness, and do not medicalize it as an illness. Your heroic body has merely made a few sacrifices to serve your growth.